Hello and welcome to another episode. In this episode we're going to be looking at the first screen capturing application available for Chrome OS devices. So that is yes for our Chrome books as well as our Chrome boxes. Which is very exciting to know that we do not have to use the Google Hangout kind of hack that we're having to uh, deal with lately or anybody that's having to use the uh, workaround to get a screen capture going. So this is actually created by TechSmith, which you can head over to TechSmith.com if you want to learn more about it. And the actual app is called Snagit. So if you actually go into the Chrome Web Store and just type in Snagit, you'll see that they have an application as well as an extension. The actual application, if you just download it, you're going to see I have it right here, which looks like this. Uh, to actually get the screen recording, you'll just come and press this plus button and you'll get a little box which I can't actually show you right now but what you'll get is another pop-up window and you'll have a window to select that you want to actually record if you pick the far left selection it'll give you or it'll actually do the recording the way it is right now where you'll get to record every single window otherwise if you select an individual window it'll only record what's within that exact window that you're looking at so uh, when that when you've uh, recorded everything that you're looking for, you just come down to the very bottom right here. Go ahead and click the panel, and just click the stop button, and it'll finish the recording. Uh, the really neat thing about this app is when you've done recording, it'll actually upload it directly into your Google Drive, so it'll sync it. And then you also have an option to directly upload it to your YouTube account that you're signed in with your uh, Gmail account, Google Chromebook. So those are really uh, neat features. I do have a third-party microphone plugged in through USB right now, and that's what I'm speaking on. So it works with that as well, which is another positive thing. And so I recommend going to the Chrome Web Store and giving it a try. And don't forget to give them a good rating. And if you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next video.